clip that into the space. Long run for Reggie Cannon, who's going to get there. Knocks it down for Weston McKinney. McKinney being harassed the whole way. Oscar Linton. Quickly thrown in for Joe Akini. Linton on his back. Yeah, it's going to be out for a Panama throw. here for Juan David Tejada of the... So much of that tonight, John, is, is going to be on the United States. How quickly can they move the ball? And again, the cross in for Joe Acchini, sent away by Linton. The Canadian Championship is playing now in Israel for Hapoel Tel Aviv. He's one of six players on Panama squad that have played in MLS. None of them do currently. Three of them on the field right now. Ardo has the goal tonight. Good stuff from Weston McKinney. Gets around a second Panamanian player. Couldn't find the outlet, though. To an Italian father, a Jamaican mother, has lived in Maryland, Italy, and France in his life. Plays for call in the French second division. Came into camp with a game. Adams, the reverse pass. McKinney, can he get there? Yes, clipping it up. Header back in front. Joe Akini scores. Through his body. Joe Keeney with his second of the night. And as you mentioned, no video assistant refereeing. Doing this old school with the I Barbados, Dominica, and Guilla. And then a two-leg playoff against maybe Curacao, maybe a Guatemala. Just to get through to Belgium together. Eunice Musa, good ball that was. Reina running in front of him. Gio Reina now. Can he catch up to it? It's going to be knocked in behind. Linton came all the way across and seeing it both back to goal and forward facing. Really impressive. Yanez, the return. Cannon not going to get there. Berhalter also praising the poise of a kid's bane. And the prior younger goal scorer was a guy that scored back in 1941. Eligible to play for Ghana through his mom for England growing up there. Also lived in Italy. Hard out. Zach Steffen really has not had outside of the goal a whole lot to do again this evening. That's going to be a foul. To sort of leave it late and get those guys on the field as much time together as they could. Didn't make his first sub until about the 70-minute mark. Steffen's going to go long over the top. the eighth minute of the second half as this free kick is sent in it's going to be dealt with on the other side now Alaskia playing a long switch Murillo brings it down Torres mentioned he was the first designated player in Colorado Rapids history. He was coming off of 2013 where he was the co-leading school. Panama applying the pressure in the U.S. half and the U.S. pressure in the U.S. half and the U.S. have had moments of transition but haven't controlled the game with the ball and, and chasing it around. It, it is about getting that. It's about putting pressure again on Panama. We're playing the ball around and the U.S. in a little bit of a low block at moments. U.S. Reina trying to find the angle for Musa. Musa clipping it up in the air. McKenney attacking. And the whistle's gone there. And the threat. Lee Gunk working his way back and making some appearances off the bench here and there. But really to, to work his way up and with some production and have an impact in 30 minutes that can show Greg Berhalter what he can really do. And wide it goes for Cannon. Tim Wea. Gonna turn the corner wave back on the field here he comes Aguilar from Cooper that cross into a good area and whistle and a foul McKinney intercepted that ball for Wea Cannon beaten to the second ball Why it goes now to Linton Cannon trying to recover good work by Reggie Cannon 
This really has a very different feel than that last half an hour. Meeting my future teammates, hopefully. His first time in with the national team, a lot of new faces, guys just trying to learn each other, and yet he said he was really pleasantly surprised. Green, long, can 2016, he led all of the U.S. Soccer Development Academy in goals at the U16 level. Here he is on the ball now. Sebastian Soto going to play provider for Way, who couldn't control it. Off balance there, and then ends up trying to jam it into Way with a fastball, and it just comes cannoning off his shin and straight into the hands of Mosquera. That was a huge missed opportunity after some great work in the middle by Johnny. Second time, Dest will dance inside on it. Dest into the middle. McKinney could quite control it. A pair of players on the field for the first time for the United States to push the lead back out to two goals with seven minutes to go. Now Fajardo on the ball. He's Soto. Good pressure there to force it back. Giannis that was in between everybody. He's looking to hold it up. Got that pass in. McKinney just trying to ride Linton out. That's going to be a corner. Acrobatics there from Giannis to hold that ball in. A little bit of a clip there to... Linton to play it back inside. Cesar Giannis blocked by Johnny. There's a lot of food for thought across the board for both Greg Berhalter and Jason Kreiss, who will be heading up that effort to get the United States back to the Olympics for the first time since 2008. And if you hear Ledesma into the middle, Soto got there to find Weya. Weya dances to find space. Weya letting fly, and it was blocked and man down.